so irreversible cell injury irreversible cell injury which it can occur by two mechanisms that is necrosis and apoptosis do tarike se ho sakta hai necrosis versus apoptosis these two pathways or mechanisms of cell injury they are totally irreversible cell injury they are totally opposite of each other dono mein basic difference kya hai in necrosis in necrosis it is associated with inflammation it is associated with inflammation versus apoptosis where there is no inflammation very very important necrosis is associated with inflammation versus apoptosis where it is more microscopically there is no inflammation in apoptosis next point necrosis is it physiological pathological or both necrosis it is only pathological in nature ye physiological nahi hota it is only pathological it is only pathological versus apoptosis which is both versus apoptosis which is both physiological and pathological in nature which is both physiological and pathological next point ne in necrosis leakage of cellular contents let me write this for you in necrosis in necrosis leakage of cellular contents leakage of cellular contents is seen or not seen khud socho cellular contents leak hue leakage of cellular contents is seen that is why it is associated with inflammation versus apoptosis where leakage of cellular contents is not seen versus apoptosis where this leakage is not seen next point plasma membrane integrity next point plasma membrane plasma membrane integrity plasma membrane integrity in necrosis in necrosis is maintained ya not maintained plasma membrane integrity is not maintained it is not maintained in necrosis everything is linked is linked with each other plasma membrane ki integrity is not maintained so leakage of cellular contents is seen and it is only pathological associated with inflammation sare points ek dusre se linked hai versus apoptosis where plasma membrane integrity is maintained versus apoptosis versus apoptosis where where plasma membrane integrity where plasma membrane integrity is maintained this is the master table of necrosis versus apoptosis next point again put a star extremely important apoptosis it is not associated with cellular swelling pucha jata hai it is not associated not associated with cellular swelling versus necrosis which is associated with cellular swelling so these two pathways these two pathways of irreversible cell injury they are opposite of each other they are opposite of each other so let us start let us start now with our first pathway of irreversible cell injury that is necrosis necrosis se shuru karte hain let us start with the various patterns of necrosis starting with starting with patterns of necrosis you all as such also know this easy topic hai which is the most common pattern of necrosis the most common pattern most common pattern of necrosis is coagulative necrosis coagulative necrosis this is this is the most common pattern this is the most common pattern of necrosis which is associated with ischemia of organs it is the most common pattern of necrosis associated with associated with ischemia of organs ischemia means reduced blood supply if the blood supply to an organ is reduced or affected it in turn leads to coagulative necrosis it is associated with ischemia of organs except except organs all over the body kisi bhi body organ ka ischemia ho raha hai it is associated with coagulative necrosis except ischemia of cns except ischemia of cns which is associated with liquefactive necrosis ischemia of cns which is this is associated with this is associated with liquefactive necrosis next point next point we'll leave a line below this we'll come back to this line in just 2 minutes you'll understand it better next 
a special subtype of coagulative necrosis is Zenker's degeneration. Zenker's degeneration. This is a special subtype. This is a special subtype of coagulative necrosis, Zenker's degeneration. Zenker's degeneration, which is this is associated with typhoid infections. Zenker's degeneration, it is associated with typhoid. Dekho, ye different pattern of necrosis nahi hai. It is a special subtype of coagulative necrosis only, which is associated with typhoid. Next point, Zenker's degeneration mein, kis cheez ka necrosis ho raha hai? Which, which body part is affected? Skeletal muscle. Kaha ki? Abdomen. So, it is associated with necrosis of skeletal muscle. Associated with necrosis of skeletal followed by cardiac muscle meaning the most common muscle affected is the skeletal muscle of the of the abdomen skeletal muscle of the abdomen which skeletal muscle is present in the abdomen that is rectus sheath abdomen mein kaun si hoti hai that is that is rectus sheath rectus sheath and diaphragm that is rectus sheath and diaphragm so zenker's degeneration it is associated with necrosis of the skeletal muscle followed by cardiac muscle. Skeletal muscle kaha ki? Skeletal muscle of the abdomen. Abdomen mein kaun si hoti hai? That is rectus sheath and diaphragm. Zenker's degeneration. So, the first pattern of necrosis, first pattern of necrosis was coagulative necrosis. Next, next pattern of necrosis, the next pattern of necrosis is liquefactive necrosis. Next pattern of necrosis is liquefactive necrosis. Liquefactive necrosis, liquefactive necrosis, it is associated with bacterial or fungal.